Welcome to another video. We have an integral and this one does not require any special technique. We just have to simplify and integrate. Uh, the task might be, or the tough part of it might just be the process of simplification, but if your algebra is solid, you can do this integration pretty quickly. Okay, let's simplify and then integrate. Before we go on, remember to like this video, share this video, and leave a comment in the comment section. Ultimately, if you're not subscribed, please be subscribed. I need you. Let's get into the video. So the first thing we're going to do is try to factor because you see, you cannot integrate a rational function of polynomials if the top is bigger than the denominator. You know you can't do that because it's not going to converge. So you want to simplify and just see some things that you can break down. So how can okay, we factor the top? It doesn't look like we know how to, uh, but we can write this as difference of two squares. That's the reason why this minus is here. So we can write this as the integral. Let's write this as the integral of x cubed squared minus um, minus 1 squared, okay, divided by, you know, at this point, I can try to factor the bottom. What if I write this as x cubed? If I factor x cubed from here, I'm going to have x plus 1. And if I factor minus 1 from the two next two terms, I'm going to get x plus 1. And I have my dx here. Because this is difference of two squares, I can write this as the integral of x cubed minus 1 times x cubed plus 1. And here, I can write this as x cubed minus 1 times x plus 1. Nice! Do you see how nicely this simplifies out? Just because we did this trick on top. Okay, now this is going to cancel this out so that your integral is basically x cubed plus 1 over x plus 1. So what we have, this is equal to the integral of x cubed plus 1 over x plus 1 dx. We still have the same problem. The problem we have is the top is bigger than the bottom. Remember, the top has to be smaller than the bottom before you do your integrals. Okay, so what do we do? You can do synthetic division, you can do factoring, you can do whatever you want to do. So let's do, um, let me do factoring here first. I know how to factor x cubed plus 1. Now as a calculus student, you must know how to factor the sum of two cubes, okay? So I can write this as the integral of, this is going to be x plus 1 times x squared minus x plus 1. This is how to factor this. Okay, it is from the sum of two cubes. Just check out the formula. The sum of two cubes is like this. Okay, now let's go to the next one. You have x plus one. Oh, that's what's under, x plus one. So you notice that this is gonna cancel this and the integral you have is x squared minus x plus one dx, which is gonna be x cubed over three minus x squared over two plus x and plus c. This is the answer to this integral. We're done, okay? You could have used synthetic division to find this or long division to get your answer, this answer, and that's it. I'm not showing synthetic division. Work it out. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.